Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Certainly not the best way to kick off the weekend because it is downright rigid out there. We got air temperatures currently in the mid and upper 20s. Not too bad. Actually, this is where we should be for this time of the year across the state. But when you factor in the winds that are 15, 20 miles an hour, it feels substantially colder. Feels like 16 in Hamilton, 15 in Asbury Park. How about single digits to the north? Dover coming in at four degrees, nine degrees in Highbridge. And all day long, we are going to have this issue with the real field temperature being substantially colder than what's being represented on our thermometer. So we're going to call it cold and blustery today with gusts eventually over 30 miles an hour. I'm expecting highs just north of freezing. It's going to feel like we are in the 20s all day long. And if you've been paying attention, you probably know that we got a storm system coming our way. This would be Monday late afternoon into early Tuesday, and it looks to bring literally the gambit of precipitation. Snow over to a wintry mix, some freezing rain, some rain. Some areas could see all the precipitation. Others might just go from snow over to rain, especially the farther south you live, uh, closer to coastal Cumberland and Cape May County, southeast Atlantic County. But we're going to kind of hone in on all the details through the course of the weekend and get you all the information you need. We're going to avoid a major impact from this, but a moderate impact, especially for your evening and morning commutes, possibly in the cards. You could see a few inches out of this. Don't think it's a blockbuster storm, but some measurable snow certainly can't be ruled out. And I think by tomorrow morning, we'll be able to put some numbers out there and give you an idea. And this isn't our only threat, guys, for this upcoming week. No, believe it or not, by the end of the week, by Thursday, we got another opportunity. This one potentially a little more robust coming up the coast. But for this storm, for Monday and Tuesday, we have one of those Miller B situations, and I talked about it at length yesterday. Essentially got high pressure to the north, and that's nosing into the northeast and mid-Atlantic, pushing that cold air at the surface, and it's lingering long enough where as this storm comes up from the south and west, the initial round of precipitation will likely be as snow for much of New Jersey. And then as the warmer air comes in from the south, this is called an overrunning event because that warm air is overrunning the cold. You get that initial round of snow. I'm not really sure how far north it gets. We'll fine tune those details come this afternoon and evening. But I definitely think it's a push of snow, then over to a mix, freezing rain and uh, ice possible for some, especially southern Pennsylvania, northern Maryland. And then the warm air will ultimately win out for a lot of you. And we will see just a plain old rain develop. Don't have to worry about anything substantial today. We're looking at partly to mostly sunny skies out there. Uh, a nice looking day. Bundle up again because it's not going to be a great feeling day. We'll be clear tonight. Tomorrow, sun and clouds mixed together. Monday, we start off cloudy. We start off dry. Here comes that precipitation coming in. In blue, you have the snow. Here's your wintry mix. And then in green, obviously, is where we have the rain. This is going to change. This is just our in-house model. Some are colder, some are warmer. The truth is probably somewhere in the middle. And it does look like that rain snow line is going to be setting up somewhere in South Jersey with potentially a band of moderate to maybe even heavy snow. This is on Monday night. Definitely the farther north of Philadelphia you go, the better the opportunity of an all snow event than perhaps around the snow before all is said and done with before the storm pulls away. So if you're looking for mainly snow, your best chance of accumulating snow that's going to be north of philadelphia through trenton sayerville new york city uh, portions of the poconos allentown in the purple area i think a few inches of snow is possible you'll go from snow over to a mix you might not get that full transition over to rain might just be cold enough above our heads to allow for an uh, icy situation, which just makes matters worse going into Tuesday morning's commute. And then to the south, this is where I think we start off as snow and then it transitions over to a rain. But even down there, you could get in on some minor accumulating snow before that flip happens. So for today, let's go 33 degrees, cold and blustery. Winds out of the northwest sustained at about 15 miles an hour, occasionally some gust over 30. For tonight, 
back down into the teens. 17 for Trenton, 19 in Asbury Park, 17 for Toms River, 19 on the beach and boardwalk in Atlantic City. And tomorrow for your Sunday, a good idea to maybe cook up a good meal, stay at home, and watch those playoff games. Only 32 at the state capitol, 34 in Hamilton. Same thing in Atlantic City. So here's your 7A forecast. Obviously, the big ticket item is Monday into Tuesday. What happens with that? What the final track is? I think by tomorrow afternoon, we'll have a very good idea of that, and we'll be able to put some numbers out there, partly to mostly sunny on Wednesday, and then Thursday is the next opportunity for potentially a more sizable storm coming up our way. Plenty of time to watch, wait, and see, just as we did with this one. It's the responsible thing to do. Stay tuned for more updates throughout the day.